Seattle is now one of the fastest growing cities in America. Um, we're gaining jobs and population weekly. And one of our challenges as a West Coast city is to put some of the types of transportation we haven't had in place. Um, we went to the voters and we asked for the largest increase in bus service since the system was created. And we're now going from a city where 25% of us live near a bus that comes every 12 minutes to 72% of us living near a bus that comes every 12 minutes. Well, we have been working for several years here in Seattle to bring more bus service to the community, expand our light rail network while building out the infrastructure that makes it safe and reliable to get to these high capacity transit systems. 70% of the people in this city that are commuting into downtown are arriving by some means other than driving. We can't handle any more cars than we currently have. And that means our mode split over the next 10 years needs to go from 30% SOV to 25% SOV. And the lion's share of that is going to be carried on the bus. Many of the routes you see on this street have grown by 20 to 25% just in the last year. I've never seen anything like it in 18 years in the transit business. Last year, Transportation Choices, along with a broad coalition, worked to pass Move Seattle, which is the city's most significant transportation investment ever. It's a $930 million levy, and it invests in safer streets, in more transit service, and making it easier for people to get around. We're going to have 70 million more people in the United States by 2040. And the overwhelming majority of those 70 million people are all going to be located in just 11 major metropolitan areas. The Puget Sound is one of them. So we are really going to need an all of the above strategy to not have that congestion completely overwhelm us. This is 3rd Avenue in downtown Seattle. We're right in the middle of downtown Seattle between Pike Street and Pine Street. This street carries more than 200 buses per direction during one single peak hour in the afternoon. And the reason we can do it is because cars are essentially disallowed from the street during those hours. So if you look at 3rd Avenue and you look at the downtown core, we have a great transit signage. We have a bus only, transit only lane to get people out of their cars and onto transit. Immediately below us, we have another 60 buses per hour and light rail trains running. That's the downtown Seattle Transit Tunnel. It's the only joint rail bus tunnel in the United States. We have bus only lanes all over the city, not just downtown. Sometimes we have big long bus lanes. Sometimes they're just uh, very short segments at pinch points. So Rapid Ride is Seattle's brand of bus rapid transit. You can see them running all up and down this street. Rapid Ride includes off-board fare payment for smart card users. Bus stops are further apart. There aren't as many seats on the bus, which allows people to circulate throughout the bus and get on and off much more quickly. One of the things that's great about Rapid Ride is it has off-board fare payment and all-door boarding. And what that does is it reduces dwell time for the buses and they're actually now traveling 20% faster than they do without off-board fare payment. The rapid ride lines run between every four minutes and 15 minutes at the very longest during the day and well into the night. Several of these lines run every 10 to 12 minutes or better all day. We put in a center queue jump here. All of Mercer just kind of backs up, right? And then this backs up. So they were getting caught for multiple light cycles. And what we did was we got rid of the center turn lane and we turned it into a bus queue jump. And so now they get a leading green for the buses. So they actually come out into the center, they get a couple seconds of a head start and then they can jump ahead and get over to the right. And that's like one of the biggest improvements that we could make for transit in this entire part of town. And middle of the day, there's not much traffic. You don't need it, but at rush hour, you would not believe the improvement it's made. The expansion uh, of the rail network as well as some of the bus services here in the uh, Puget Sound region have always been funded through voter ballot initiatives. We have a $54 billion program over 25 years that really does all of the above. It provides opportunities for bus rapid transit, an expansion of our light rail network to a 116 mile true regional network. 
many riders are new riders to the system. More neighborhoods now have better bus service that can get them to light rail and so what we're seeing is more people are choosing transit because it's a reliable way to get around. It feels great to live in a city where the voters have said yes time and again to transit. We've created a circle where we provide good service and the voters support us. It's very exciting as a mayor to be able to be mayor of a city that said yes to the largest increase in bus transit and then we went back to the voters the next year and said we need additional money uh, to build our, out our bike trails, to build out our sidewalks and to repair our roads and the voters said yes again and both of those votes were 60% or more. So it's an exciting time uh, in a city that often said no over the decades to transportation funding is now saying yes and particularly to transit.